About 15 years ago, I was working for a Fortune 500 company, and they knew they needed to replace their accounting software. Uh, their old accounting software was several decades old. It was mainframe. It was old-fashioned. It was uh, unable to be supported uh, pretty soon. I remember there was a lot of talk about should they go with the best of breed or with an all-in-one solution. And so basically what that means is there are certain software, for example, the best of breed, which focuses on one specific thing, and they do that one specific thing very well. And so in the case of the accounting software, uh, you might take one specific business function like payroll and say that we're going to choose this software and it's only going to do payroll. And we're going to choose another software and it's going to do the accounts payable. And we're going to choose another software and it's going to do the accounts receivable and so forth. And you're picking each software because it's the best at what it does. So the software you picked for payroll, well, it's the very best payroll software that there is. And so by doing that, you have the best software available for each of those functions. Now, the alternative to that is the all-in-one solution. So in that case, it means you're picking one software that's going to do everything. So it's going to do the payroll. It's going to do the accounts payable. It's going to do the accounts receivable. And the nice thing about that is you only have one software to worry about. You only have one software to upgrade, one software to learn. The downside being that maybe that particular software isn't the best at any one of those particular business functions. So there's pros and cons to each approach, best of breed or all in one. So I've been thinking about this quite a bit lately uh, for a couple of different reasons, but you know, Evernote came across my Instagram feed the other day and I remember using Evernote a long time ago and for a long time, it was the king of note-taking apps. Everybody that was serious about note-taking used Evernote. And somewhere along the way, I think they lost their path, but you know, I think they did a redesign that took away some of the more useful functions. And they might have added in some features that maybe their core users weren't so excited about. And I think the last thing they did was they raised their price exponentially for their premium plan. Now, I haven't followed it that closely, but that's just kind of what I've seen happen based on social media posts and, and Reddit posts and things like that over the last couple of years with Evernote. And I haven't actually used Evernote in quite some time. And the funny thing about it is you don't even hear Evernote come up in the conversation anymore when people are talking about note-taking apps. Nowadays, it's Obsidian or it's Notion or even OneNote. Uh, you don't even hear Evernote come up in the conversation, although at one time it was the top. So I thought I'd check out their website and see what's going on with Evernote these days. So this is Evernote.com, and I'm presented with What Will You Achieve Today? And then I'm going to scroll down, and this is where I thought it got interesting. Let me zoom out just a bit. I was looking at this on a wider screen earlier. So here you can kind of see quite a few different things going on, right? Over at the very left, uh, we can't quite see it, but it says task list. So Evernote's a task list. Uh, meeting notes. Evernote does meeting notes. Wiki, planner, docs, class notes, research, journal, thoughts. So there's a lot of different things it's doing. And it looks like right now it's trying to be an all-in-one solution. And so maybe it's not the best at any one of these particular things but you can do all of these things inside of Evernote. And if you look down here at this third point, it says turn to do into done, but down below that it says bring your notes, tasks, and schedule together to get things done more easily. So there again, it's pointing out the fact that you can pull in your notes, tasks, and schedules, and pull them all together into one system and get things done easily. All right, so that's Evernote, and that's about as far as I got into looking at that. But that got me thinking that, isn't TickTick doing the same thing? You know, TickTick probably goes even further than that and says, you know, bring in your tasks, bring in your notes, bring in your calendar, bring in your habits, let us do Pomodoro. Uh, you can take a look at our Eisenhower matrix. What am I missing? <laughs> and I started to go down that path, you know, should I use TickTick for everything? Should I bring in my notes? And I started bringing in my notes and I brought in attachments and things like that. And in a previous video, I showed how, you know, if you bring in attachments and you bring in files and copy and paste pictures into your notes, 
Well, there's no good way to export that. It's lost within the TickTick -tick universe somewhere up in the TickTick -tick, uh, China servers. <laughs> so anyways, I started to pull my notes out of TickTick -tick because I started to think, well, maybe this isn't the best solution for my notes. TickTick -tick does provide an all-in-one solution. Maybe I don't need to use it. So maybe I want to go with more of a best of breed approach to my suite of productivity tools. And I've been looking at Obsidian for a while and I've been thinking about it and I've been playing around with it, uh, making sure that you know I know kind of how it works and what I'm getting myself into. And I think I'm at the point now where I'm definitely making the decision that it's going to be in my workflow from now on. So I'm still thinking through my holistic approach of what's gonna be in Obsidian versus what's gonna be in TickTick. But definitely tasks are gonna remain in TickTick because TickTick is good at tasks and there's no reason to bring in tasks to Obsidian, even though you can make Obsidian do that as well. That kind of goes back to the whole thing. It's like, yeah, you can do tasks in Obsidian, but is that really the best approach? Or are you trying to make an all-in-one solution fit? And maybe that's not the best approach. And I don't think it's the best approach for me anyways right now. So I'm gonna go with the two apps, Tick Tick and Obsidian. So Obsidian does a couple of things very well, especially as it relates to notes. You know, first and foremost, the notes exist on your computer. So they don't exist in the cloud anywhere unless you want them to, but they exist on your hard drive along with any attachments. So if you put an attachment in your Obsidian note, it also lives on your hard drive. That's one nice thing. Uh, another nice thing is the note linking. I've always tried to make the note linking work in TickTick -tick, and you can copy a link to a note within TickTick -tick and paste it somewhere else, but it just doesn't work as smoothly as it does in Obsidian. Uh, because Obsidian was designed for that. And so why not use an app that was designed for that for its purpose? And so I'm really enjoying the simplicity of Obsidian right now as a purely text editor using the Markdown language to format things. And I know you can get real crazy with all the plugins and things like that, but I'm trying not to uh, because I just don't want to, again, you know, make it something that it isn't. Um, <laughs> I've already started looking at you know, the data view plugin and how you can turn your text notes into essentially a SQL database and you can write queries against your Obsidian notes, which it is neat, but that's not what it's designed for, I don't think. Now, I still may use data view for certain things, but I'm not going to make that uh, a key component of how I'm using Obsidian. I really wanna use it as text-based notes along with some attachments. So anyways, circling back around, I am going with a best of breed approach now. Uh, one software for tasks, one software for notes, especially long-term notes. And I'm trying not to get too crazy with a bunch of apps either, you know, so I don't want to have a bunch of different apps that I'm trying to work with and keep updated and things like that. So I'm gonna try to stick with these two as my main core productivity apps and we'll see how it goes. So let me know in the comments, uh, what do you use for notes? Do you use Obsidian, Notion, Evernote, <laughs> Tick Tick? Uh, leave a comment. Well, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.